So let's be honest with ourselves, shall we? When you brush your teeth, do you take the recommended two minutes? This can feel like an eternity, when all you want to do is head to bed. So maybe you've considered what would happen if you stopped brushing. Would your teeth fall out? Or would you be okay? Keep watching to learn which approach would lead to losing teeth and which leads to pearly whites. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the Bright Side of Life. So this is what would happen if you stopped brushing your teeth and forgot all about oral health. As in, didn't floss, didn't use mouthwash, did nothing for your teeth for a year, zero nada niente. It's not pretty. Bacteria would accumulate in your mouth. If you don't brush for a day, food particles remain lodged between your teeth, creating a breeding ground for bacteria. Over time, these bacteria would spread to your tongue and gums as well. You'd develop a sticky film called plaque. Now, everyone gets plaque to a certain extent. It's the thing your hygienist spends so much time trying to remove during a dental cleaning. You might have a hard time noticing that plaque is developing because it's colorless and difficult to see. If your teeth aren't straight, you can expect even more plaque to accumulate. When plaque isn't removed daily, it can become quite hard and lodged in place. This can develop into tartar, and not the yummy tartar sauce that's super tasty with fish. No, you don't eat this tartar because it would eventually eat at your gums painfully. You would hurt your gums. Now, when it comes to your mouth, your gums need some loving too. During a year of no brushing, you'd likely be suffering from swollen and tender gums. If your teeth are carrying a ton of bacteria, plaque, and tartar, you can expect your gums to bleed from time to time. It's likely you'd develop gingivitis, which is the mildest form of gum disease. At the end of the year, you could reverse gingivitis with the help of a dentist and medications, but it would take a little while. If left untreated, gingivitis can develop into periodontitis. That's when bacteria in your mouth throw an extravagant party because they've found a lovely home. A bacterial infection sets in and starts to break away at the bones that support your teeth. Once that starts to happen, it's hard to prevent someone from losing their teeth. Your breath would get stinky. Whoa! People might start taking a step back when they talk to you. You know the smell of morning breath? Your mouth would smell like that 365 days a year. There would be no escaping onion or coffee breath or the scent from smoking. Your teeth would be carrying food particles, and that would produce bacteria that is, shall we say, potent in odor. Mouth bacteria can smell as a warning to the person that there's a problem, instructing them to clean their mouths. Your bad breath might be saying that you're developing gingivitis. It could also be a warning that there's an underlying medical condition that needs attention, perhaps kidney problems. If you get used to the smell of your breath, you might ignore its purpose as a warning system and miss an important health sign. Your social anxiety levels might go up if you notice that people aren't interacting with you in a respectful manner, and you might become self-conscious. You might also get a nickname behind your back like smells like death or old landfill breath. You might suffer from tooth demineralization. Your teeth need minerals so they can remain strong. As you age, you naturally lose minerals in your teeth, which is why elderly teeth can be weaker. This process would occur much more quickly if you ate a lot of sugar and highly acidic foods and stopped brushing your teeth. Minerals like calcium and phosphate are necessary to keep your enamel strong and prevent tooth decay. After a year, it's likely that none of your teeth would be too demineralized to actually fall out. But you would be on the way to losing your enamel and the bones that support your teeth. Once they're gone, there's no way of recovering them. So, in the long run, you'd have a high risk of losing teeth. As promised, there is a way to get pearly whites at the end of a year without brushing. It involves taking care of your teeth with some alternative methods. Counting down from method number 4, mouthwash. You wouldn't have to worry about bad breath if you used mouthwash. Your breath could stay minty fresh all day. 
your mouthwash could also help prevent cavities and fight gum disease if it contained alcohol and chlorhexidine. Certain mouthwashes, called therapeutic mouthwashes, can control plaque, gingivitis, and tooth decay. Several are available over-the-counter, so you don't have to visit a dentist to get a prescription. These types of mouthwashes could help you with any canker sores you develop in the ear by detoxing the area. And if your mouthwash has fluoride, then according to Dr. Nicholas Toscano, a diplomat of the American Board of Periodontology, it could help in reducing demineralization and cavitations of the teeth. But this wouldn't be possible for children under 6, since the American Dental Association ADA, advises them not to use mouthwash, as they're likely to swallow it. Method number 3. Flossing can be extremely effective. According to Dr. Mark Burhenny, a dentist in California, flossing is more important than brushing. If you stop brushing for a long time but continue to floss, you'd save your teeth from any plaque buildup between the teeth and right by the gums. Brushing and flossing are both important, but flossing can get those hard-to-reach areas that a brush can't. In the long run, flossing would prevent you from developing gum disease. You just need to make sure you're flossing once a day. As long as you didn't let more than 24 hours pass without flossing, you'd be alright. The front of your teeth might still get stained since they're not getting any attention, but you can prevent that if you watch what you eat. Alternative method number 2. Avoid sugar. Before you say you could never quit sugar, just know that it could be the best way to successfully get out of brushing. Dr. Philippi Hujol, a dentist and professor of oral health at the University of Washington School of Dentistry, says that the best way to prevent cavities is not to brush, but to avoid eating sugar and other simple carbohydrates. Why is that? Your mouth is always host to bacteria. Certain bacteria are more harmful than others, and the most dangerous type is the one that loves to munch on the sugar in your teeth. So when you eat a lollipop or a piece of cake, it isn't just delicious for you. Certain bacteria are throwing a feast in your mouth. Ew. The bacteria emit acids that can destroy your tooth enamel and form infections, which leads to cavities. So, staying off the sodas, cookies, and sugary snacks is good for your teeth. If you did this, you wouldn't have to worry about cavities and might even shed a few pounds. And method number one, certain foods can whiten your teeth. You don't need a toothbrush and whitening toothpaste for your teeth to be pearly white. You simply have to stay away from foods that are acidic and lower your mouth's pH levels, and veer toward foods that are high in alkaline content and raise the pH levels. According to Dr. Jonathan Levine, an associate professor at the NYU School of Dentistry, apples are a great choice because they're an alkaline fruit and take the stains off the teeth. Sweet potatoes can help whiten teeth. Pineapples contain bromelain, which is an ingredient that helps remove stains in toothpaste. Strawberries contain malic acid, which can help prevent gum inflammation. Rubbing your teeth against the inside of an orange peel will put your teeth in contact with limonene, which is a substance used in many teeth whitening products. If you did this, you might even end up with whiter teeth than you started with. Of course, remember that the safest approach is always to follow the recommendations of the dental community when it comes to taking care of your teeth. According to the ADA, people should brush twice a day. It's also recommended that you floss daily. If you want to make a change in your oral health routine, don't hesitate to visit your dentist as they might be able to create a plan for you that works with your lifestyle. So, tell us, Brightsiders! What was the longest time you went without brushing your teeth? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side.